welcome back. My name is Joanne and I'm an instructor at the OCDSB Outdoor Education Centres. We at the OCDSB Outdoor Education Centres are excited for the 2021-2022 school year. We were hoping to invite you back to visiting us at the Outdoor Education Centres and exploring with us in person. Until then we'll be joining you via our YouTube video series and together we'll be exploring all of the changes that are happening in the natural world. You might recognize us if you were joining us last year for our videos, but if you're just joining us for the first time, let's meet the team. Hi, I'm Kathleen. Hi, I'm David. Hi, I'm Lindsay. Hey everyone, it's Christine here. I'm so glad to have you back for this next season. So don't forget to start getting out and exploring your natural spaces. Let's take some time to get started using our observation skills and learning about some of the language we're going to use as we explore the natural world. Welcome back, Kathleen here. One of my favorite things about the start of the school year is at the same time, we're starting to welcome in a new season. So when I step outside, I'm starting to notice colors changing. I feel that cool breeze across my face and it even can smell different some days. This is such an exciting and amazing time to get outside and continue exploring. Let's take a minute right now and start exploring even just this tree that's right behind me here. So when I explore, I'm going to think of three different sentences. One is I notice, the other is I wonder, and the last one is it reminds me of. So when I'm looking at this tree, I notice that on the branch it has some blue and orange little scaly spots and I can even use my hand lens or magnifying glass and look closer to see what's happening there. And I wonder what that is. Um, it kind of reminds me of little dried up bits of mustard that sometimes get left behind on our counter. And another thing that's catching my attention is over here. And I'm noticing that there's all these big clusters of uh, little orange berries on this tree. And again, I'm wondering if any animals like to eat these and they really remind me of shrunken down oranges that you'd eat during your lunchtime. I want to introduce you to your challenge this week and that is an activity called Adopt a Tree. Now I did say this week, but it is actually something that you can continue throughout the entire school year and even not during the school year, even during the summer because you are going to get to follow the life of a tree. So you're going to get to use your observation skills your questioning skills, and uh, you're gonna get to record as well and follow the life and changes in a tree. The first thing you're gonna get to do is select a tree in your local green space by your school, or maybe right outside in your schoolyard, or maybe in your local neighborhood, wherever your teacher instructs you to. And you are going to pick one tree that really is special to you. It may be because you know what kind of tree it is, or it may be because it looks really interesting and has all these strange bumps on it and you think it looks really cool. So you pick that one tree and you are going to get to revisit this tree and you're going to collect lots of information from it. And you're going to collect information and record it down in a journal. Lindsay here and I am going to walk you through how we're now going to take those observations and those uh, I notice, I wonder, and this reminds me of and how to record it so that we can come back to it and we can learn more from our observations. So I like to use a nature journal for this. It's essentially just a book or a piece of paper uh, where we can take what's in our brain and put it into a visual Kind of representation on paper so you're think of your computer and how sometimes we need to back that up 
um, or a memory card from your camera. Um, so we're going to kind of download what's on your camera, or in this case your memory in your brain, and we're going to make it visible for others to see. Uh, so this will look like pictures, drawings, um, it might look like words, and it might also look like numbers. Now, we want you to be having a scientist's mind for this, so don't be worrying about trying to make a pretty picture. This really is about recording um, what you're seeing and putting down what's in your brain onto some paper in ways that will help you uh, to remember them and to learn from them. Um, so use all of those different languages, the numbers, the words, and also the pictures. Um, so if you do like to draw or paint or color, definitely put some more time into it. But at the very least, we just want you to be able to record what you're seeing um, with a pen, a pencil, uh, and maybe a notebook or a piece of paper like this. So I adopted the tree behind me here. Um, I've looked at this tree many times. I think it's absolutely beautiful um, and just really interesting because it does change throughout the year. And I want to know more about this tree. So um, I've adopted this tree and I wrote down my I notice, I, my I wonder, and this reminds me of, and I've done a sketch zoomed out, but then I also zoomed into some of the branches. There's some details when you get up close that you can't see from far away, and that led me to asking some more questions. For example, I noticed that the tree has needles, um, and they're very soft. Um, I wonder what kind of tree this is, and it reminds me of a pine tree, except for the fact that the needles are soft instead of pointy. This tree has, um, I noticed that this tree has lots of little tiny cones on it. I wonder, do animals eat these? And the cones remind me of little tiny roses on the branches. Some other things that you might like to record in your journal for that day, um, especially if we're looking at seasonal changes over time, is the date. Um, maybe the temperature, what the weather was like that day. Um, I noticed today that there was a gentle breeze blowing through the branches. Um, so just put down anything that you're thinking of. Maybe you can notice some certain smells in the air as we come into the fall. Maybe those leaves on the ground as they're starting to decompose. Um, so write as much information down on this page as you would like uh, to help you remember this moment and uh, this time of year. Christine here with some ideas of journal types that you can use. When you're making your observations, there's many different types of journals or notebooks that you can use, or it can be really simple. So here I have just a lined notebook, and even though there's lines in it, you can still sometimes do some drawings in the margins and record drawings that way of your observations. Another option might be just a, a sketchbook, something that has blank pages and you can draw and write anything you want anywhere and make your recordings that way. Another option would be to make your own notebook. So I kind of got one here started and all I've done is I've used some goose paper or good on one side paper and I fold it in half and I used my hole punch to punch some holes in the side and I'm just using some twine left over from my garden and I'm just going to put it in the holes there to tie it up together and this way I'm reusing uh, some paper that I had around, some extra twine that I had around um, and then you can only draw on one side but it's still a way that you can keep track of your recordings or whatever you have. So no matter whether you use a homemade notebook or one that maybe your parents or a sibling have lying around or one that you maybe get at the store, any of these types are excellent for keeping track of whatever you are discovering and wondering about in our natural spaces. Hello again, I'm David. And now that you've gotten an introduction and an idea of what we're asking for you to head out into a green space near your school or home, find a tree that interests you, find a way to record that. And if you're using a nature journal as part of your classwork, put it right in there. You, I think, are ready to go out and actually take on this challenge. So I wish you the best out there. Remember, you're gonna have many opportunities to revisit this tree in the future, and you'll be amazed at what you have at the end of your year. So have fun out there exploring. If you really want to share what you create with us, please do so. We, we love to see work that all of you are doing 
back home and at school. Uh, and if we can use that in any of our future videos, we'd love your uh, 